Now let's start with the first part of the bassoon you might think of, and that's the bell joint. Now the bell joint is part of the top of the bassoon, it's got a little B-flat key there, but there's not really much that we need to know for cleaning, so uh, for now, let's put that aside, shall we? Next up we have the main joint. The main joint is somewhat an important part of the bassoon. It's got some important keys. You have your D key, your C key, your B, and your B flat. You also got um, E flat and the D flat key for your left hand. And some bassoons even have a lock for to lock together the main and the wing joint. Now again, there's not really much important cleaning needs to be done for this section either. So let's go ahead and put that aside as well. Next up we have the wing joint. And it's a very important part of the bassoon. You see you have your whisper key and various thumbs keys. Some bassoons also have a fifth key, but not all of them come with this. You also have your three holes for your left hand, the EDC. You have the rest of the mechanisms for the whisper key and attached to the vocal at the top. This is where the vocal goes in. This is very important since this is where air enters the instrument. So you want to make sure you keep it clean. How so? By using a cloth. Now these you can find at your local music store, what have you. If you notice, there is a weight at the end of the, of the cloth. So what you do is that you put this into the very top of the joint and feed it through so you can't get in there anymore. And it should, the weight should be at the bottom of the instrument, so you just pull it through you have to make sure you do this about three or four times to make sure you've got it nice and clean. And it's very important that you keep this joint very clean, as since this is where air enters into the instrument, the most condensation would appear in this part of the instrument, and that's sometimes not a very good thing. Very not a good thing. And the condensation can fall into the next part of the instrument. Now we have the boot joint. This is the very bottom of the bassoon, as you can see. You have a little part, if you have a hook or a cap, you can go ahead and allow that to rest the bassoon. Now you see here, it's got your part for the right hand. You got the three holes and your F and your key. And you have your pan key and all the different little miscellaneous keys. And if you notice, it's where a spot for both the wing and the main joint. You see here it's where the whisper key connects to. Now some bassoons actually have a whisper key lock. It's going to be very good sometimes if you don't want to put your whisper key down all the time, though don't always have it on there. Now as it's where the wing joint comes in, the condensation comes down and settles in the very bottom of this. Now if you see there's a little arch right there and sometimes you can actually screw this off and clean it out, but you don't really need to do that all the time. So let's go ahead and put the cap back on. Now the main way to clean this is, just like with the wing joint, is a cloth. You notice there's a chain. It works exactly like the weight from the wing joint. So what you want to do is you want to take the chain and put it into the wing joint section. This is very important. Let's go ahead and feed it in there. And then Make sure you and then tilt it a little bit so you get it down through that arch. So you just drag it, feed it through some more, and the chain should appear on the other side. And just pull it through. Now it might be a little difficult depending on how much condensation you have in there, how much you play, and different things like that. You drag it through there about three or four times. Now it's very important you put it in the wing joint portion because it has to open up to collect all the condensation. If you stick it in the main joint part, then it'll close up and you can't get as much as you possibly could. So you gotta make sure you put it in the wing joint there. So next, let's put the instrument together. And as you can see here, we've got your case. Go ahead and open it up. And you can see the different parts of the bassoon, boot, wing, main, uh, bell, and different miscellaneous things you might have, claws and what have you. Now, the first part you need to take out is the boot very bottom of the instrument, as you can assume. So you go ahead and make sure that put that down. You have where the wing and the main joint go in. Now, most of the time, the wing and the main joint be together through a lock. 
You want to make sure you keep this lock engaged as much as possible. So what you do, you can put both of them in at the same time. The larger portion is for the main joint, the smaller portion is the wing. You just go ahead and put that in there. You got to make sure that the whisper key lines up between the wing and the boot joint. That way you can, when you hit the pan key, it'll work. Last but not least, you have the bell joint. This has got the B flat key, of course. So you got to make sure you put it on there so that where the B flat key on the main joint and the bell joint line up so that there's no leaks when you go and hit the B flat key. And you see, you have the instrument all together now. All that's left is the vocal that goes the main part of the wing. So let's put the instrument away now. To put the instrument away, you just go ahead and reverse the process you just did. You go ahead and take off the bell joint. Just go ahead and twist it off there. And then you put it into your case. Make sure the key is up. Next you have the main and the wing. Now as the lock is engaged, you can't exactly take it off. You can either do it in two parts. Either you can take the main joint or the wing joint off separately, or, like a, the more effective way, you take both off at the same time. You can make sure you hold it close to the bottom and just twist it a little bit. Very careful, however. It should slip right out. Now these are still together. You want to make sure that lock is engaged. Let's go ahead and stick it back into the case. Let's make sure it's nice and in there. Finally, with the boot joint, you have to be very interesting with this because you have the little ring that allows you to connect it together. There's usually a little thing that you can put it in. So what you do is that you put it face down into the case with the ring at the bottom, and then it should be good.